Hello, Strasbourg, United Methodist, and all others watching this daily devotion today. It is Friday, July 24th, 2020. And uh, we are talking about repentance uh, this week. And, uh, and I've kind of brought up the theme that uh, there are really two ways that we often do repentance in our in our faithful lives and one way is to repent out of fear you know fear of god punishing us fear of not getting into heaven um, but that the more um, perfect way of having repentance is to do it out of love out of this uh, purposeful understanding that we love god uh, and want to be in a relationship with god now um, i'm not the first person to come up with that idea i actually was looking that idea up on the internet and found uh, a wonderful little uh, display of this conversation between uh, two characters in a Shakespeare play in 1603 where uh, there's this duke in Measure for Measure who dresses up like a friar to see what goes on in his community and he runs into a, a woman who's being uh, held in prison for having sex with her uh, boyfriend before they got married and uh, her boyfriend's been sentenced to death and the, the duke talks to her and and um she says to him you know yeah I, I i did i got pregnant before marriage and you know my my fiance who i'm engaged to is going uh, to be killed and, and with what the duke says to her is are you sorry and she says yes and he says are you sorry because you were found out because the true thing, the truth is that we often repent out of fear rather than out of love. So again, this goes back several hundred years. And even before that, you, you have uh, the idea in Judaism of uh, Yom Kippur. It's the Day of Atonement, the, the highest holy day of the Jewish religion. And uh, there is a rabbi named, uh, um, let me see what his name is, Harold Schulweis in 1994 who wrote um, an article called uh, repentance out of love and repentance out of fear and even he draws a conclusion using uh, a lot of resources from uh, the last 2,000 years of Jewish oral history and written history to uh, make an under make a, the argument that uh, repentance out of fear is just skin deep that really repentance out of love is a whole transformation of the heart um, and I wanted to share that with you. I thought that was a, a very neat idea to understand that um, when we act out of repentance because of our sin, are we doing it because we've been caught out? Are we doing it out of guilt because we know it shouldn't be done? Are we doing it because other people have pointed it out to us? Well, that's only about half of the solution. John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, argued that for a Christian's life to be fulfilled, that uh, we must have a, a holiness of heart and life. So not just changing the actions in this life, but changing the underlying things in our heart that make us sin. And of course, we believe that we are created in the image of God. And, and honestly, that is a, something we share with Judaism, that, that God took a look at us, God formed us and made us, breathed life to, into us, and then we are all made in the image of God and we mar that image uh, because of the sins that we have in our life. And so the purpose of repentance is to wipe all those sins away and be the, the clearest reflection of God's image to the rest of the world. So, um, and one thing that Rabbi Shulwis always says is that love repentance is not cheap sentimentality. Love repentance does not say forgive and forget. Love repentance says remember and transform and so when we repent out of fear we're only halfway right it's when we repent out of love when we allow our heart to change that we can discover the freedom from guilt and a freedom to be who god wants us to be so as you think about repentance in your life, are, are you doing it over and over again? Are those things coming up that you ask God's forgiveness over and over? Well, you probably haven't been able to transform your heart yet. And so I encourage you to think about ways that you can transform your heart so that your actions may follow and that you can live as uh, the embodied image of God in this world. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for your forgiveness. And we thank you for your love that is boundless. We ask that when we come to you, that we come to you out of love and not fear. 
that we come to you not just because we've been caught, but because we know that we want to be in a deeper relationship with you. Lord, we ask that you help us remove the layers of sin in our lives that prevent us from loving you fully, but also prevent us from loving ourselves fully. Lord, allow us to shine with your light that we may be your image reflected to the rest of the world. We pray all this in your name. Amen. I'm going to share with you a song today called um, My Hope is Built. It's uh, one of our hymns in our hymnal, and I hope you enjoy it. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground. seems to hide his face. I rest upon his unchanging grace. In every high and storming gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, all of the ground. is covenant, his blood, so upon me in the whelming flood, when all around my soul gives way, even is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. Shall come with trumpet sounds. Oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking. wonderful day and amen and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.